Hi everyone, I'm Robin Taylor and I teach Journalism and Strategic Communication at Troy University and I'm also the faculty advisor for our student publications groups, the Tripolitan, that's our student newspaper, and the Palladium, our school's yearbook. Today I want to talk to you about how to figure out what good news stories you can cover are. If you've ever sat at home and wondered why a particular story was on the news, why it was on local news, or why it wasn't on national news, or why a story was in your hometown paper or a national paper, and maybe one and not the other, I'm gonna help you figure out why and better help you cover your own schools. So I was a journalist for about 15 years before I started teaching at Troy, so the tips and tricks that I'm gonna give you are what working professionals are using. So I want you to think about news values. So it's our job as a journalist to take the thousands and thousands and thousands of stories that are out there for us to cover and whittle it down to the ones that our readers and our audience need to know the most. So sometimes things that are important to local groups aren't important to national groups and vice versa. So how do you go about figuring out what your target audience is looking for? Well, think about tip cup, T-I-P-C-U-P. -P. What does that mean? Well, T is timeliness. When did it happen? If something happened today or yesterday, it has more news value than as if it happened last week. Now, a caveat to that is sometimes we see memorial stories, uh, an anniversary of something like September 11th, and that is timely too because the event is rolling back around or the, the memorial services are coming back around. So T is timeliness. When did it happen? If it happened last year and we're just now reporting it, not very timely, right? So I is impact. How many people does it affect? Let's say there was a big storm in Troy last night and it blew over a tree into my driveway and I couldn't get to work. Well, that impacts me and it impacts my students, but it's not really news because it doesn't impact the rest of the city. Now, what if there were trees down all over the city and power was out? That's impactful because it impacts the whole city. So then you might see it in the news. So timeliness, impact, P, proximity. Where was it? If it happens in Troy, then chances are it's going to be covered by the Troy Messenger. If it happens in Los Angeles, unless it's national news, you're not going to see it here at the local level. So timeliness, impact, proximity. C is conflict. Now it doesn't always mean conflict like people are fighting in the streets. Conflict is anytime people are at odds. So you could see heavy debate at a city council meeting or at your schools over a new policy. So conflict could be things like war, things like protests and riots, which we've seen nationally and locally this year, but it could also be that people are at odds about some new tax coming into town. So timeliness, impact, proximity, conflict. You is if something is unusual or unique. So a Christmas parade might be timely because it's Christmas time, but what's unique about it? You have to figure out what's unique and different or unusual about it. So we wouldn't necessarily see a local event like a Christmas parade on national news. However, something that would be unique to all of us is if there were a total eclipse during the day and day became night. You would see that everywhere because it is unique or unusual. And then the second P is for prominence. Who is involved? So let's say that I was walking across our quad here today and I tripped and I broke my ankle. That doesn't impact a whole lot of people. And it was timely, right? Because it happened today. Proximity is good because it's on campus and it's in Troy. Conflict, there was really no conflict. Not really unique because people uh, <laughs> can break their ankles or trip and fall all the time. But prominence, it's not there either because even though my students know who I am and some of my friends and family around here do, my name is not a household name, so it lacks the prominence of, say, the mayor or our chancellor. If he fell and broke his leg going across campus, that might appear in our student newspaper, maybe not the local uh, city newspaper, The Messenger, and it probably wouldn't appear on national television. Now, let's say that Taylor Swift comes to town and she is walking across our quad. She trips and breaks her ankle. She's going to be on national or international news because she's more prominent. So hopefully that helps you think about the values that make good news stories. So let's go over them one more time. 
Tip cup, remember? Timeliness, when did it happen? Impact, who does it affect? Prominence or proximity, you can choose whichever P you want to think about first. So proximity, where was it? Is it close to you? The closer it is to us, the more we care about it. A conflict is someone fighting about something, whether it's with words or actions, uh, unusualness or uniqueness, and prominence. Who is it? So hopefully those few things to think about when it comes to news values give you some tools in your toolkit to go out and be better journalists at your schools and in your hometowns.